Hello, good afternoon. Welcome back to my devotional series. Um, this is the third in my series to keep me responsible. Um, hold myself accountable for diving into my Bible and making sure I keep Jesus, our Lord God, in front of mind um, throughout my journey as a Christian and throughout my regular everyday life. Um, there's been a lot of things happening that I've been seeing on the internet and on the news and things. And so I thought that the particular passage that I was given to by my Bible app was was apt, as it were. Um, it was very to the point on the nose. And so uh, I think it's good that this is uh, being recommended to me to read. So... We are opening to Matthew chapter 22, um, verse, uh, verses 36 through 40. Um, this is a very famous passage, but here we go. Master, which is the great commandment in the law? Jesus said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment, and the second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Just to kind of talk about that for a second. There are a lot of interpretive ways we can bounce around the word love here. I, I've seen, I've, in, the, in the realm of theological conservatism and theological liberalism I've seen oh love means that you hold the line to what God is saying and if they're doing something wrong loving them would be to outright tell them and correct them spiritually and everything and I've also seen on the other end of that spectrum where you are to aff affirm a person recognize their humanity um not judge what they are doing because you don't know their heart only god does um and there are a lot of fancy which ways that you could dive into that love word that are all you know valid in, in one form or shape or another but i i think a lot of the time when we dive into that love word, it is put through the lens of, of, I mean, we are fallible human creatures, so we don't have the lens that God has. And so when we look at this and it says to do this, do that, we have to, we have to parse it through our human sense. But really, I think what we should be doing is, so I mean, and the second is like unto it, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. So what I, I think the, the fact of the matter of this of these passages, of these verses, are saying is that how I go about my spiritual journey, how I go about, you know, even not spiritually, but my regular human life, if I'm going to the store, or if I'm struggling financially, or if I'm trying to do something creative, if I give myself grace through those challenges, through those endeavors. God commands me, Jesus commands me 
to do that to some other person, to do that with my neighbor, not to judge them as they come to me. If I don't, God has a lot of commandments for how we, I mean, the Ten Commandments is, is kind of like the bar none, what we should be operating under kind of thing. But if I give my myself grace through my struggles spiritually and, and personally in my life, the the commandment, the 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 godly, the righteous thing would be to also give somebody some grace through whatever they're going through personally or, or spiritually. I think we tend to f to forget that, and we're not trying and and. And I don't mean to say that we can't guide somebody spiritually. I think there are some times where we have to make some imposition on someone if they're doing something like really, like truly dreadful, like they're being heretical or they are acting in in, in direct defiance of God. But otherwise, if somebody is just struggling in, in their existence, trying to find their way through, whether it be with themselves or even with God. I, I don't think this is telling us to love them regardless, to give them that grace, to extend that mercy to them that God extends to them. And I think, I'm not going to dive into my life story here, but I think if that was granted to me in my younger years, in my early life, that I would have had a significantly better time parsing a lot of my spirituality and my, and my relationship with God and how I want to interact with the church and things a lot better than how I, I did have it. Um, I'll maybe detail my spiritual journey in a, a future video or something, but for right now, I, I want to keep... The, on these two commandments hang the law and the prophets. What is being said is that every single, I mean, literally, it, all of it is dependent on those two commandments. Love thy God with all of you and love thy neighbor as you love yourself. And I... I I want to keep that at front of mind today, very much so. Sorry for the, the long ramble. This will be a, a little bit of a longer video, but let's put our Bibles to the side for a minute and, and pray over this. Dear Lord, I mentioned this a few other times, but... Your grace, your mercy is, is so powerful, so good, so inc inc incomprehensibly incredible. I, it, it, to think you came for me, this little old me that had nothing going for him I had made some faith mistakes done a bunch of bad things and yet you came for my heart thank you Lord I think some recognition of that throughout the throughout the entirety of the world would be good would <laughs> Whether or not they do it today or tomorrow or something, having that, having been humbled in, in my life, I think other people would have a good time being humbled in theirs too. Unfortunately, in the culture that we live in, God isn't always front of mind for a lot of people. And your resurrection, your sacrifice... even in the, the midst of that 
uh, of people not recognizing it as the ultimate thing that you did, as the the thing that saves us from ourselves, from our sin. It is just so good. And Lord, I, I reflect every day on how my interactions with the world will impact people spiritually. How my interactions with even my my integrated family, with my girlfriend and, and her family, how they how that is impacted by how I believe in you, Lord. How my relationship with you may impact others is something I, I think about quite a lot, and you know that. But as your commandment says, I, I am to love them as I love myself. And the greatest commandment of all is to keep you at front of mind in everything. I thank you for all your, just all of your everything, Lord. Your will upon the earth is, is sovereign, is ultimate, is the end-all, be-all. Your actions here, now, and in the future are, 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 are ultimate. And I know you have the best interest at heart for all of us here. I pray that you watch over my family still and my girlfriend's family. Keep us all in check. I know you will. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, all right. Um, thank you for watching. I know this is one of my, this is a, a very long little devotional today, but I really wanted to, to harp on this um, there's another passage I'm already thinking about for tomorrow's devotional that I want to dive into, kind of similar to this, but um, overall, I, I think it'll <clears throat> it'll be uh, it'll be it'll be fun. I enjoy doing this. I think it's powerful, um, and I hope you in, enjoyed watching. Thank you for joining me today. Um, I will see you tomorrow in the next one. God bless.